you everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video we're going to be going over all the things that I like and the things that I don't exactly like about the all-new 2022 Hyundai Santa Cruz, and then we'll sum things up with my final thoughts on the truck. With all that being said, let's just get right into the video. So normally I film this video in my driveway, but I figured since I'm already out here and it is not a horribly windy day like it normally is out in the desert, that I'd film this video out here so we can have some beautiful scenery as we kind of cap things off here for the Santa Cruz. So first off, let's start things off with the front end of the truck, which I'm actually a big fan of the front end styling on the truck. I think it looks really good. You guys know I'm a huge fan of the body lines here on the hood, just very nicely sculpted. And the truck's actually super aerodynamic. Like for the first time ever, I'm saying a truck is aerodynamic, which is pretty crazy. Now, huge fan of the LED accent lights, how that kind of is the same as what you have with the grill. The headlights on the other hand, they don't really look that cool, but I mean, they're functional, so it is what it is. And then I like the coloration on this trim right here, but as you guys can see, it just eats bugs. So uh, I guess take that into account if you're gonna take it out into the middle of the desert. Now something else I like about the Santa Cruz, 8.6 inches of ground clearance, which actually, it did really good today. You guys can see I got a little bit of dirt there on the bottom, because it bottomed out like once, I think, or twice maybe. But for the most part, 8.6 inches, that is more than enough for off-road fun. Now coming here to the side, this tire and wheel setup looks fantastic. It is great for on-road use. Off-road use, on the other hand, not so much. Obviously, you're going to want to have smaller wheel and a little bit more sidewall. But, I mean, this got the job done. I did have a couple situations where I slipped out a little bit, so... I guess take that into account. Um, and you might want to get a more aggressive tire anyways if you live in a place where it snows so you can get a little bit of better traction in the snow. And then something I'm gonna mention is I love the fact that it has wheelhouse liners, but I hate the fact that they're kind of like the texture on them, they're very hard to clean. But again, the fact that it actually has it and it adds protection, I think that's a huge plus. A lot of truck manufacturers don't even give you wheelhouse liners on full-size trucks. So the fact that Hyundai uh, puts that on the Santa Cruz from the factory, I think is great. And I actually like the plastic molding here because again, it adds protection. You guys can see where I had my uh, GoPro. I love how the rest of the truck is like clean. And then that part right there where I had my GoPro just got pelted with sand. Uh, that's just uh, how it happens sometimes. And then again, the side profile on this truck, I think looks fantastic. It's just a really good looking truck from pretty much every single angle. And speaking of fun stuff, we have the key fob here. So you guys can see, I like the fact it has remote start, has a tailgate drop down, and then you can see the Hyundai logo. Now the thing that's annoying is since the truck's on, I can't do the tailgate drop down with the key fob. I have to just do it with my hand. And this is something that's kind of like a double-edged sword, I guess. So the fact that the Santa Cruz comes with a bed is awesome. Yes, it's a unibody vehicle. I know I've been calling it a truck, but a lot of people don't consider this a truck, whatever. I think it's awesome that it has a bed. The tonneau cover is really easy to use. You just have to do that and then super easy and then also the fact that you have the extra storage underneath here is also awesome i'm going to close that before ugh, all that dust which just went into my mouth um and then also the strap here helps out with uh, pulling this out you have to muscle it a little bit and then just make sure the latch is locked or else the tonic cover will fly back which it won't break anything but i mean that'd be annoying tailgate very light easy to put into place now the back end of the santa cruz i don't think looks as good as the front i think with the taillight design and everything little bit funny but i mean again it's like a little truck thing so it's it's cool overall i think these are kind of pointless because it's this is so low to the ground like i'm not a super super huge human being and the fact that like i can still just reach my leg up to here or over to here i don't know i guess it's nice that it has a practicality but again it's so small it doesn't really need it and also this thing looks like one of the old brats like i need to mention that before i pop the inside because it totally does um, but before we, well, actually, we'll just pop the inside now and then we'll go over the engine. Um, interior wise, I think this has a nice interior, right? All of the cloth mixed with like the leather and then the seats are all leather and everything. I think that is great. And then pretty much everything is standard equipment with the Santa Cruz, which I think is awesome. So you don't have to add a bunch of options. And if you guys are wondering why it's screaming at me, it's because I have the key in my pocket and it's on. Um, but yeah, anyways, interior quality, top notch with the truck i think it's great and then i love the digital gauge cluster you guys can see right now i have sport mode trash control all the way off infotainment system is also great you guys know you saw that in my review responds great the self-driving stuff with this is great uh, in terms of the adaptive cruise control and then the steering assistance in 99 percent of circumstances pretty much drives itself you do have to intervene here and there but it's pretty minimal also it has a sunroof which is nice it'd be cool if it had a panoramic but i mean i'll take a sunroof especially in this uh segment of truck whatever the heck you want to call it 
has heated cooled seats. I think that is also a cool function and it has a locker. I didn't have to use that at all today because I didn't do anything too crazy. Also held the sand control. So it's got some off-road credibility. The camera system's great because it has a full 360 camera view, which I actually used a little bit with uh, off-roading today. And I guess we got to pop the hood and we get to see what a everyday driver did with the truck because, well, you guys can see, I didn't really get the truck all that dirty because I chose a place where we've got, you know, tons of sand and everything. So this is easy to clean off. Uh, everyday driver, on the other hand, well, they did some mudding with the Santa Cruz. And so uh, everything under here is pretty uh, dirty, but we've got the turbocharged 2.5 liter. It's got good power outputs. It's just under 300 horsepower and just over 300 pound feet of torque, eight speed, dual clutch, automatic transmission. You guys can see the whole setup and I'm gonna drop this because my arm's getting tired. Perfection. Um, I love the powertrain, the power delivery is great. The dual clutch does great in 99% of circumstances. At low speeds, it does get a little bit of jerkiness, um, which is slightly annoying, um, but again, it's not a huge, huge deal. Uh, and then off-roading, again, 99% of the time, the transmission was great, but there's a couple times where it was a little bit jerky and a little bit obnoxious. And so again, just take that into account, like a regular truck with a, well, when I say regular truck, a truck with a regular torque converter automatic isn't gonna have that little bit of jerkiness, um, but it didn't get in the way of my off-roading. So I hope that that kind of helps you out. And then my, you know, day-to-day -day driving, it did not get in the way of that either. So overall, it did a really uh, good job with that. And so yeah, that's pretty much everything I like in the Santa Cruz and the things that I don't exactly like. Now we need to sum things up and decide whether or not you should even look into getting the Santa Cruz and what type of buyer you should be if you are looking for a Santa Cruz. So first off, I definitely recommend the Santa Cruz and I'm not just saying that because Hyundai gave this to me for a week. I think that it's actually a pretty cool package. Now, my only like gripe with the Santa Cruz as a entire package is the fact that it is $41,000, which is kind of expensive. The new Ford Maverick fully loaded is like $36,000, $37,000. And so this is just, I mean, it, I, I, I don't know. I think it speaks for itself. Like this is just a little bit more money. It's still okay. It's still within a reasonable price point perspective. But I mean, this really does compete with the Maverick in many people's minds. That's why I did a side-by-side -side comparison. Also, the Maverick has a longer bed. So I guess that's another thing going against the Santa Cruz. Um, but overall, I think it's great. I am all about unibody truck things, like whatever you want to call them. I don't care what you want to call them. I think this is awesome. This has a massive amount of utility. I imagine if I didn't live out here in Utah where I have tons of space, if I lived in like California or New York or, you know, somewhere where you have tons of traffic and it's and everything's just really tight, but you want to have truck utility, but you still want to get good gas mileage and you want something that again, can maneuver and fit in parking spaces and all that kind of stuff. This thing would be absolutely perfect. And I actually, again, I'm a huge fan of it because like this is so much cooler to me than a car. Like there's so many cars that are this expensive that just don't make sense to me. And this thing makes sense. Like for example, a fully loaded Toyota Camry about the same amount of money as this. Uh, there's a lot of SUVs that are in this price range as well. Think like Nissan Rogue, for example, uh, the Jeep Cherokee, if you get one of those loaded up, that's about the same price range. Ford Bronco Sport is about the same price range. And when I think of all those vehicles, the cars and the SUVs, I'm like, those are all cool, but they don't have a truck bed. Like this just has so much more utility in my mind. And so even though it's not technically a real truck, like it's a truck, right? I still think it's absolutely awesome. And so that's where I think that this truck Thing, whatever you want to call it really shines is I think it's this great unibody vehicle that is a great alternative to an SUV or a car that you get similar fuel economy numbers to SUVs and cars you have similar practicality from a size perspective where you can still fit on the road you can still fit in parking spaces parking garages all that kind of stuff and it's not annoying in traffic but then you have truck utility with the bed and all that kind of stuff so it's like in my mind you're gaining all these benefits and there's not really a downside other than the fact that this is a little bit more expensive than its main competitor which i mean it is what it is i really like this i haven't even been in a ford Maverick Lariat yet. I've only been in the XLT, so I can't really tell you which one feels nicer, but I can tell you with the digital gauge cluster, with the seats and the sunroof and everything this comes with, this does feel like a very nice upscale luxury type vehicle and all the safety tech as well. So I think Hyundai overall did a really good job with the Santa Cruz. It's obviously not perfect, but I, again, I'm all about this as a truck person, as someone who literally owns two trucks right now, 
I'm all about this thing. Now that's gonna sum things up for my final thoughts here on the Santa Cruz and obviously the things I like about it and the things I don't exactly like about it. I hope that that helped you guys out if you are looking at purchasing a Santa Cruz or if you're comparing this to other vehicles. Again, I think the Maverick is really the only competitor to this right now because if you look at like mid-sized trucks like Tacoma and Ford Ranger and Chevy Colorado and all that kind of stuff, they're just a little bit bigger than this and they're a little, well, it depends on the, pa yeah, they're a little bit more expensive because those packages fully loaded are just under $50,000. This is about, you know, $10,000 less fully loaded. So yeah, I think really right now the Maverick is it. And so I'm, I imagine this segment is going to get bigger as time progresses. But anyways, if you're stopping for the first time, please subscribe and I will see all of you in that next video.